In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Sonos speakers to Wi-Fi. It's a simple process, whether you're setting up for the first time or reconnecting after a Wi-Fi change. So, let's get started and make sure your music keeps flowing smoothly. First, make sure your Sonos speaker with an Ethernet port and your new router are turned on. You'll need an Ethernet cable for this step. Connect the Sonos speaker to your new router using the Ethernet cable. This will automatically start the SonosNet network, a special wireless network that helps your Sonos system connect more reliably. After connecting the speaker to the router, turn on the rest of your Sonos devices. They should connect automatically to the SonosNet network. You can check this in the Sonos app under the Rooms list. All devices that are on and connected should show up there. If any Sonos device doesn't appear in the app, try restarting it, except the one connected via Ethernet. This can often fix the problem. Remember that portable Sonos speakers like the Sonos Roam and Move can't use Sonos Net and need to be connected through the regular wireless setup. If you're using a standard setup where speakers connect directly to the Wi-Fi network, here's what to do after changing your network. Connect one of your Sonos devices, like a Play One, to your router with an Ethernet cable. This makes sure the device shows up in the Sonos app. Open the Sonos app and go to Settings, System, Network, Networks, Update Networks. Follow the instructions in the app to enter your new Wi-Fi details. Once your Sonos device has the new Wi-Fi settings, disconnect the Ethernet cable. Your device should now connect wirelessly to your Wi-Fi network. If you're using a Boost setup, which means you have a Sonos device like the Sonos Boost connected directly to the router, here's how to reconnect after changing your network. Connect your Sonos Boost to the new router with an Ethernet cable. This sets up the dedicated Sonos network again. If other Sonos devices aren't connecting because of the network change, turn them off and then on again by unplugging each one for a few seconds and plugging them back in. After restarting, check that each Sonos device has a solid white light. This means they're connected to the Boost's network. They should now show up in the Sonos app and work normally on the new network. Setting up your Sonos speaker wirelessly gives you the freedom to place your speakers wherever you like. Don't worry if wireless setup seems tricky. Just follow these steps to get your Sonos system connected smoothly to your Wi-Fi. First, make sure your Sonos devices are compatible with your Wi-Fi network to avoid any issues. Download and install the Sonos app on your Android or iOS device from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store if you haven't already. Make sure your smartphone or tablet is connected to the Wi-Fi network you want to use with your Sonos speaker. Plug in your Sonos speaker and wait for the indicator light to show it's ready. Open the Sonos app. If it's your first time connecting to this Wi-Fi network, you might see a message like, unable to connect to Sonos. Let's fix it. Follow the prompt to start the setup. Go to settings in the app and look for a notification about network issues. Select the option to update your network settings. Make sure all your Sonos devices are powered on and tap find system to let the app search for your devices. The app will show a list of nearby Sonos devices. Choose the one you want to connect. Ideally, the one closest to your router for the best connection. Wait for the app to connect to the device. You'll hear a chime from the speaker, and its LED might flash white and green, indicating it's ready for the next step. On your chosen speaker, press the Join button. This might be marked with an infinity symbol on newer models or the play, pause, or mute buttons on older versions. When prompted by the app, enter your Wi-Fi network's password and wait for the connection to establish. Once connected, the app will confirm that your Sonos devices now recognize your Wi-Fi network as trusted. Tap Done to finish the setup. Your speaker will sync with other Sonos devices in your home, transferring them to the new Wi-Fi network. Restart any device not automatically connecting. If you have older Sonos devices, you can use the S1 app to connect them. Just tap the notification that says Unable to connect to Sonos, learn more. Then, choose Change Router or Wi-Fi Settings. This will guide you through the steps, including entering your Wi-Fi password to complete the connection. This ensures your older Sonos models stay seamlessly integrated with your home audio setup, allowing you to enjoy uninterrupted music streaming. That's it for the video. You're all set with the knowledge to connect your Sonos speakers to Wi-Fi, be it for the first time or reconnecting after a network change. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more tech tips. Have any questions or additional advice? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.